the twos and ones, but Devo was such a catalyst for his team against FaZe, playing so perfectly, finishing off shots, not putting a foot wrong in defense. He is just as much a part of this success as CRR Dorito. But I mean, Furia, they've been starting slowly in these events against Complexity yesterday in the opening 3v3. As we head to the start of this Grand Finals, they were frankly quite poor, but they stepped up magnificently as it went on. And earlier on, I mean, that reverse sweep against Falcons, it was unbelievable. I was convinced that Falcons were going to take it, but Furia, they just turned on another gear. Yeah, they just they, they refused to listen to the script here. And I'm sure that's what they're going to be trying to do again. But Guild are a very different team from Falcons. This is a playstyle change up. So, whereas Furia against Falcons have to expect a ton of midfield aggression, Guild are a much more, I'd say, fluid team. They don't mind defending, they don't mind uh, just waiting patiently for opportunities. Less aggressive than Falcons, certainly. So, it's going to be about controlling the aggression for Furia. Jan, for me, has been player of the tournament so far, but he's got to pick his spots here. Guild, been very, very solid today. Jan had half the chance there, but goes wide. Player of the tournament so far, and already getting way too many touches than Guild's half than they would want. That one almost goes in from Kayo. It's saved. Cleared away by Dorito towards Jan, who you can already see why he's been such a dominant force in this tournament. He is just everywhere. The player comfortable with cutting across his teammates, and they know what he's doing, but Guild have some pressure now. Kayo with the save this time. Guild are coming forward. Here's Dorito. He's made such a good account of himself. Him and CRR rising through the ranks of competitive oh. Rocket League. And there is CRR, their 1v1 star, making it 1-0 guild. Well, Furia with a bit of a blunder here. Card trying to get the ball past Devo, but Devo intercepts it. And what a pass by Devo, just straight into the side wall, back into the middle. No one from Furia ready to get that ball contested. So Furia lose control. When you're going for those back corner outplays, you have to make sure to get it. It's a big risk. If you get dunked on, the danger is immediate. Guild Esports not used to losing at the moment. So many sweeps for them. That magnificent one against FaZe Clan earlier. Who saw that coming? Especially the 1v1 victory from CRR. The man who sunk their first goal in this one with that one second equalizer and then winning the overtime. But there's a mistake from Devo for whom we've had so much praise. And it's 1-1. Yeah, Kayo all over him. Dorito trying to... A yeah, good 50-50 here. CRR pushed up against Ooh. him and Devo goes straight past the ball. I've got to think that he was worried about hitting that ball straight into CRR, probably looking for a very precise touch as he looks to clear the ball. But he just flies right by it. Fury again. Easy equalizer. A slight lapse in communication there from the guild defense. Not too much harm down. It's only an harm done. It's only an equalizer. As Devo sends it forward. Is this one gonna go? Kyo's in the backboard. Devo is just circling in front of him. I love to see Devo playing so far forward always sending himself backwards as soon as Furia have the ball. We want to see Guild going for these pre-jumps, being aggressive against Furia. Devo is up and he sends it away. There's a couple of touches as well. Kaio's there waiting, but a bit of a misplay there from Devo. But it does let Dorito in, so good work from Guild, recycling the play. Playing better after conceding that opening goal. In a world full of mechanical youngsters, Devo and Kaio, the legends of their scenes, are doing everything for their teams throughout this tournament, but can they produce the same goods in the grand final? We did see a mistake from Devo earlier, but it's right back into the rotation as Dorito's taking his time. 1v1, it's into the bar, and Devo also passes high for CRR to finish. Guild getting all three involved in the offensive play. Unfortunately for Furia, they just could not recover. Scored one of the team goals of the day earlier on up against FaZe when all three of them were involved, and that was the same there. You do think that Devo could have snuck that one in, but when you have CRR approaching for his second goal of the game, it doesn't matter too much. Guild Esports do restore their lead, and maybe Furious Game 1 Moes are going to continue here. That one's going over the top from CRR again. That was a good kickoff from Guild. A much needed strong start for Guild here. After seeing Yan's performance in 1v1, despite losing to TRK, I think I'm picking him as the favorite in 1v1 in this matchup. I mean, even against the CRR, who was able to beat First Killer. I mean, that's just how impressive Yan has been in one's in this event, he's just a, not just an insane mechanical player. I feel like we talk about his mechanics all the time, but in the last series against Vulcans, it was his positioning, it was his reads, it was his interceptions that really made the difference in the tail end of the series. Look at this from CRR, setting up the butt, but Jan's got away from him, and he's pre-jumped the save. Not just mechanics, also composure and speed of thought to get in the way there. These Fury are still in this one. That one's a great challenge there from Card. Kayo is up, he wants to get around this one to put it in. <laughs> the mechanics are there, and it's 2-2. Kayo has been at the absolute peak of South American Rocket League since its beginning. The first player to establish himself 
against international competition. And he is still at the top of the game years later, just like Devo. This guy's been around for four plus years at the absolute peak of the game, waiting for his opportunity. And he is now seizing it with both hands. Oh, he was so close. Was Devo there, the other old man of the grand final. Here comes Jan, though, wants to get this one on target. The double tap's looking so effective for Furia. Dorito just about gets a save. And Sierra can get it away. Could be a counter now for Guild Esports. Devo wants to close down Jan. This pass really good to Kaio. Good transitional play from Furia right now. There's a bit of boomable emerges. Furia, I've got all three players showing up. I think for the first time internationally, there seems to always be somebody having a bit of an off day. Well, I will be honest, it's never Jan. <laughs> never seen an off day from him. Kaio and Card have been mechanically excellent today. Kaio in the threes, Card in the twos. They're all showing up huge. Their grind, their work they put in is so clear to see. It's wonderful to see them being rewarded for all that effort. They're not the only region. They're not the only team who've had to wait for their chance to play in RLCS, just like Mina. They had to wait for a long, long time. Devo's going to put this one forward. Look at that interception attempt there from Dorito. Really puts a little bit of pressure on Furia, but now might leave Guild exposed. Zero has touched out wide is good. It's to Dorito. Card closes him down. Dorito again against Kyo. Can Kyo get it around the corner? Sierra goes up and gets a huge clearance. Devo, he can win this race against Card if he plays his cards right. In the corner, let's go over the top of him. Card just has to stay tall as this one approaches zero seconds. Are we going to head to overtime or will we have some zero second magic? There's already been oh. huge comebacks in this. Oh. And there is Jan. You can never count him out. Furia finally <laughs> take a first game. Yeah, there we have it. We have one player from each team being greyed out, which means we will see Dorito and Sierra against Jan and Carb. We did have Jan and Kai over one juncture yesterday against Complexity. Didn't quite work. So this is definitely their superior 2v2 team. As we head into this one, and Jan and Carb will be all too aware that Guild Esports are undefeated currently in 2v2. They've beaten Complexity. They've beaten Luminosity Gaming. They've beaten O1 Esports in the game mode. And earlier on, that huge win against FaZe. Guild will be confident, but they are behind in the series. Yeah, this is their game mode. Uh, this might just be Furious Day. Like I said, an absolute must-win game for Guild. They're up against one of the most consistently impressive threes teams in the world, and they've just conceded against them. It's that man, Yan. Some people are calling him best in the world, and I don't think you're crazy to think that. Mistake from CRR to concede possession. He panicked, missed the boost. Yan is all over him. Yan is just all over everyone right now. As soon as Guild think they have any time on the ball, Yan is there in their faces, charging them down and never letting them breathe. And it's a decent kickoff just for a second. It looked like Furia might be able to get a clean touch, but for now they're sent back. Now his card, he awaits his chance. Past CRR almost. Good challenge from CRR, but he does commit to it. Which leaves Dorito somewhat isolated. The pass wasn't quite perfect though. Yeah, I would like to see a run ahead demo there from Card with Yan on the ball. I don't think that any kind of pressure on the goalkeeper is going to tip the scales in Furia's favor to double up. Card takes a touch, CRR on the back wall. He's gonna have to avoid Jan. There was a demo behind. Who's it gonna be on? Jan, he's there. He wants to get past one, another demo. Jan oh, is still got him. there, he's just ever present. Oh. Card's coming in, it's not quite gonna go in this time. Dorito grateful to clear away. Yeah, big time save there from CRR with no momentum. He just had to time his foot to perfection. Deny the second goal for Furia, who looked the more threatening of the two teams. Every time Jan touches the ball, it looks dangerous. Card has been infallible. What can CRR do with his first touch? Right by Card. That's really what Furia have been so good at today. They've conceded so many goals in twos throughout this tournament, even in the quarterfinals against Complexity. But they've really ironed out those mistakes. And now 1v1 play from Card delays the flicky lands in reverse to try and make a play. CRR again successfully defends. Well, that's an awkward touch there from Dorito. Will there be a Furia player coming in? No, CRR manages to use the last of his boost to steam in there, but he is still completely starved on the backboard. Let's stay behind this one, Yan. Be able to take a touch here. He'll have some time. He'll have two defenders in front of them. Who now we'll have boost. So Sierra can come in. Card has to get a touch. Furia. Calmly operating. Once again. There is no panic. During that semi-final reverse sweep over the crowd favorites, the home favorites, Falcons. Many people online and present Linda oh. Venue's favorites to win the event. Ah, don't worry about it, Cole. Yan's got it covered. Of course he does. Jan, the man of the plan. Everything's sticking to him right now. He's in the way of everything. Card, though, will be the recipient of this pass. Can he get it over the top of CRR? It's a lovely first touch. And he gets the second. <laughs> and he sinks it. Furia are on fire. Wow, Card shows up huge. 
Look at the burst of speed. The first touch there oh. completely caught CRR by surprise. And then the drilling shot underneath the attempted in and out save. You know, he gave Jan all the praise correctly, so he's a man with a plan on land, but Card is just so solid in twos today. Where has this come from? Well, he is the king. He's the king of the region, and he's showing up why. He's getting involved so much. Here he is again up against Dorito, making him scurry back. Dorito's clearance, though, is a good one. And he'll be able to get a clean touch on this ball, though. Dorito's trying to block him out. It's an interesting pass into the center. I'm not really sure that Card wanted it. He goes up, and he oh, somehow bye. still gets in the way of CRR. Dive bomb save there from Card. Once again, they're just looking so composed at the moment. Guild, who previously, in every 2v2 we've seen them play, have run the show. They have been the team deciding where the game gets played. They've been the team putting the pressure on their opponents. But where's the pressure on Furia, who are just running away with this? There's another chance. Someone's going across the line. It's a little bit shaky in defense there from Dorito and CRR. CRR does get it away. Dorito is a pass, but it's closed down again by Card. He is all sorts of involved. This one's bouncing off the backboard. It should be okay for Dorito. CRR is here. There's still plenty of time for Guild Esports to get back into this one, but not when Furia are defending as well as they are, and they're charging it down, and Yan's surely going to score again. Guild can't come <laughs> back. It's three. Card <laughs> steals it. Not for the first time in this tournament. They're having so much fun. A certain Cameron Johns coined Card King, and I think it's time he gives Yan a name as well, because we've got Kyle the Great One sitting on the bench right now, waiting to burst into flames again in 3v3. Where did Guild go from here? It's all gone wrong in their favorite game mode. A minute to go. They have not caused any problems for Furia. I think you coined his name perfectly earlier. Yan, the man of the plan on land. He's got a plan here to the backboard. He goes. Almost gets the second touch he needs, but it's more pressure from Furia. Gil just can't get hold of the ball. Card sends it up. Yan is there again. There are no clean touches for the Guild Esports defense. Desperate just to get something going. CRR, he's teed up. Has to show some mechanical brilliance right here. He gets the flip reset over the top with him. Does he get the second touch? No, he doesn't. Nor does Dorito. Card can now slow it down yet again. Yeah, it's uh -oh. going for bumps and demos, but CRR stands tall. Oh, that's massive, and it should be a goal. Dorito's going to make the goal just a little bit bigger in case CRR's shot was going wide. And like Furia did moments ago, he steals the goal away from his teammate. A little bit bigger and a little bit quicker as well. Maybe that timer would have ticked over to 35 seconds. And when you need two goals in a 2v2, every second, every split second can count. What kind of kickoff strategy have Guild got? Coach Marky Duda behind him. Love the fake kickoffs back in the day. It looks like they went for something special here, but Furia reading it, just hitting the ball straight into the corner. Of course, they're a team who are very known for their aggressive kickoff strats as well. Sarita now controls the ball. Card lets Yan come in for the play. No deflection to the back corner. Yan had to hang in midair there. Deny CRR, a free shot on target. That might be the game-winning block there from Yan, especially if Card could win this one past Dorito. They're so quick. They're unbeatable to the ball. These South Americans taking it to every region in front of them. They've taken out two of the MENA teams, and now they're looking to take down another one of the Europeans. Guild Esports are looking second best now in threes. They've looked second best in twos, and they're going to have to go right back to the drawing board as Furia will take a 2-0 lead in the series. Furia now on a six-game win streak. That they've won in the Orcs history. The players really looking good right now, but they're not looking good on the pitch. You know, the bank accounts might be inflating, but so is Furia's scoreline. So is Furia's ego as well. There's so much belief coursing through their veins. Card flies in. It was actually a lovely double challenge from Kaya from the kickoff. A good kickoff. Well planned that from Furia to give themselves another early lead. Yeah, fantastic control from Kaya. He's denied the 50-50, the volatile challenge that Guild were looking for. They want the ball to just deflect off in any direction. Kyle says, no, it's going to stay right where it is. I want to see from Card as well. I can't wait to see him destroying some headphones, flinging them across, but he's going to have okay. to do some defending here. Not able to do it. Guild with a very quick and important equalizer. Yeah, it is key that they fire back here. Zorito giving uh, Fury a little bit of a taste of their own medicine there with a similar kind of situation. Now it's Furia's turn to try and ram into the ball, get it to bounce off of the corner wall, potentially just fire downfield. And it's Dorito who controlled the situation. So both teams actually using that strategy to their favor. And it's a great play to make in the opposition half. So most 50-50s, especially in the back corner, favor the defensive team. A couple of kickoff goals. It's like we're watching 1v1s, despite having six players on the pitch. And we won't even be able to take control in the same way as if there were fewer. CRR into the center. Dorito's waiting. He does take control, but Jan closes it down so quickly. That's a serious question of Devo, who just about had the answer, but only for now, because Card can shoot Dorito 
And he sends it away, and CRR is up. Torito thinks about winning that race, but leaves it to Devo. But there's a miss from CRR, right when Guild were beginning to think about pulling that trigger. And Guild must be careful here. Every player on that Furia roster has been controlling the pace of the game throughout this final day of the tournament. They're using bursts of speed rather than constant speed to surprise their opponents instead of suppressing them. And it's those pick the right moment kind of plays that have been the difference in every single match we've seen. Dorito calling Devo off there. Devo came back on the ground, saving the boost that he had, but somebody's got to get up to stop card. It's off the backboard for Jan, who shoots just towards the goalkeeper. Follow-up oh. is denied by Dorito. Double save there from Guild Esports, and they're still having to do some defending. CRR is right behind Dorito. Has to be careful he doesn't get too close because that could open them up. That's exactly what's happened. Kaio is there for the double tap, doesn't get it. Jan, wow. he smashes it home. Fury Esports regain their lead. All eyes on the high-flying Kaio, who is close to the double, but called it that he is not hitting that. He knew, as we can see from that view, that he's not near that ball. And Jan could hear from his teammate there that it's his ball uncontested. Guild had no idea. And once again, they trail. Kaio sitting in net, showing you don't always have to just go grab boost on the kickoff. Well, look what happens when you've got a goalkeeper. You don't concede. Lovely play from Dorito to get that fake and leave himself in the corner, but he couldn't quite get the ball for that devastating final touch. What a pass it could have been. That one from CRR just rolls around. So Dorito is waiting. Guild Esports still playing on the front foot, wanting to attack Fury. It's been working well for them in the 3v3 so far, at least in this tournament, but not so much in this matchup against Fury, who seem to have their number. CRR wants to challenge this one, can't do it. And Dorito is there, he beats Jan to the ball, but Jan does manage to send him backwards for now. Devo wins it cleanly, can he follow it up? Can he put it oh. away? Does he need to? No, he doesn't, it's two all. Well, big time interception from Devo, it looked like Fury had control. Card faked one away from the ball, but Devo plays high for the block, and Kyle had a bit too much faith in Card's 50-50, moved off the goal line. They do concede another unnecessary goal here. Gil just refusing to be shaken off this tournament and shaken off this series, but surely not another kickoff goal for oh, Fury no. and Guild. For all the tactics they were talking about at the start, it's collapsing on the set plays. Yeah, Guild playing a close cheat strategy, and it looks like they've turned up the line as well. I mean, that's just amateur. We've been seeing this occasionally in high-pressure situations, but it's moments like these, when the pressure is on, that your default kickoff strategy needs to be a safe one. Guild punished for a huge mistake. I've seen kickoff goals for each side, though, so can Guild return the favor. They're still attacking from this kickoff. Wow, a huge redirect, an accidental one from Card. Actually, worked out really well after the save from Jan, whose touch, of course, was sublime. He gets it to the side. Devo's coming in. Sierra's in front of him and still in the boost, so there could be some open spaces here for Guild to play with. Until Card just has so much pace. Furia, they are fearless in defense, and look how well they transition. Every clearance is a perfect pass, and they keep sending it forwards. Until, is that one going in? Can CRR oh. bundle it home? Yes, he can. Guild can turn it around quickly as well. well look at CRR just lurking upfield here. All the way in the opponent's half is Torito who knocked the initial clear into the Furia end. CRR just happened to be upfield off the end of his last offensive play, and made something off it. Great awareness, but see what they can do afterwards. You see that Furia have got that goal covered every single kickoff. They're not making the same mistake Guild did in the previous goal they've conceded. At least Guild have learned from their previous kickoff mistakes with that one. Actually winning a kickoff after equalizing for the third time in this third game. Now, can they take the lead? Something they haven't done yet in this one. Jan is there, he's up. Beats Dorito, good play from him to the backboard as well. Passed a couple, but Devo, he is there. All that experience, knew exactly what was happening. Sends it away for now and then flops at the ball and misses. This is all Jan pressure. He forces so many players from Guild to use what boost they had just to defend his air dribble. And now Guild left scrambling. But they've got a break for you with CRR's offensive effort. CRR looking to chip into the middle. But it looks like Guild just didn't have the boost to follow up. And they're still trying to recover their boost totals. I feel like this is the game that Guild Esports have to win. Surely we can't have another redirect, uh, another reverse sweep, sorry. Another international reverse sweep and a best of seven. Two in the same day, it can't be done, you'd imagine. But here we go, this could be a chance, CRI. He couldn't quite get on top of the ball, but he does get a demo on the way out. Oh, nice fake by Jan. Decent flick with zero boost as well. Again, just forcing Guild to use what boost they've got. You see the composure from Furia. They're not throwing themselves in at half chances. They're waiting for a realistic opportunity to jump on Guild. Here are forced to double tap the ball to safety under pressure. He's done well there. Still Furia testing the water. CRR hiding in the goal. Didn't want to get demoed. 
as he knew there would be a swoop across the box. Sartorito cuts off an infield pass. Everything Gilder trying on the counter-attack seems to just run out of steam before a shot can be fired. Jan's going to send this one high to himself. Kayo's already there, but he's called off it. Jan into the center. The flip reset is read so well by CRR. There will be time for at least one more attack from Guild Esports. CRR is up, but Card closes it down. Furia are clearly world class. Can they clutch up yet again? Zero second goal in the first game. Confirmed the end of Guild's win streak, but we're not going to get one here. It's overtime game three. The most important goal for Guild Esports' career ever. Any of these players, even Devo, the former world champion, this means more to them than anything that's come before. And they have to step up and show belief, but so do Furia. You know, they have that two game lead, but it could be cut so quickly in this format. Great touch from Jan towards CRR, but his clearance is good. And he manages to stay behind the ball, but only as far as Kayo. He's in the backboard now. Dorito's been oh, taken wow. out of the ball. Jan maybe should have left it, but maybe not, because Card's leaving in. But that's a good clearance. Yeah, Guild really following the play brilliantly there. It's well worked from Furia, changing the angle of the ball in multiple directions, but Guild were with them the entire way. And CRR puts in a nice early challenge, but Jan pounces. He seems to just never miss position. When you've got a player who's this quick to the punch in the right place every time, you're never going to get the ball past the midfield easily. And he plays the exact same way in overtime as well. No chance of him just sitting back, playing defensively and waiting for his moment. Always so desperate to get involved. And so often he makes the right choice when he does. Now he's got his team another attack. Kayo is here. And he's steaming in, calling off card. He wants this one, even from an awkward angle. Look at the first touch. Look oh at the control. Look at the my. boys. Look at the skill. Look at the start. Look at the goal from Jan. <laughs> he is simple. All the talk's been about Mina naturally this weekend since they're hosting their first international land, but what a success story South America's having this season. Really fighting Middle East for that claim to fame. Was, hold on, we start off here <laughs> with a 1-1 score. We look like we've uh, had a blazing start here that we didn't even have a chance to witness. Call yourself an analyst, Johnny. What happened for the first 40 seconds, pal? I'm going to guess that Jan scored a quad flip reset. And then CRR flicked, uh, got a flick goal for the second one. Well, there you go. Decent start to the game. And, you know, you guys, not good enough to watch it, chat. So get over it. Here we go. It begins now to us. CRR gets a lovely catch. Jan is closing it down so quickly, though. Clearly, the situation isn't overawing him at all. Oh, you both players go for the demo here. But Jan's the one who lands it. CRR thought he could steer into Jan at the last second here. But Jan was timing it to perfection. Of course, he's not going to miss the open. It doesn't matter what side CRR spawns on. Jan snipes the middle. They're smiling as well, Furia. They're turning to each other. They're laughing. They are somehow managing to ignore this bubble of pressure, which is just getting heavier and heavier around them. Absolutely massive mind games right there. You know, you have Card. He hypes them up so much. He's not in it. You have Kaio, all that experience. He's not in it. All eyes are on Jan, the man for the LAN, the man for the occasion. But CRR, he's up. Jan closed him down so quickly again. Oh, it might wow. be another challenge goal. I think it's going to be, and that's 3 1. He's just too good. CRR trying to back him up here with multiple fake touches, but Jan knew what was happening. He knew that was a complete fake, and he just pounces in. And it, must be, it must feel good to be Kyle on card right now. It's definitely going to be a nerve wracking experience as we're watching your teammate try to clutch out the biggest prize pool in Rocket League history. Jan is doing well. He's flipped late into that kickoff, so CRR's delay was ineffective. Yeah, it's a nice idea, though, from CRR, just to try and mix it up. And then to win the race wow. versus Jan. CRR well and truly in this one still. And this is what CRR does. He doesn't leave your half. If he's got half a chance, you bet he's going for it. Phenomenal recovery. Oh, so quick. I mean, dusting Jan is impressive at any stage, but that looked like a pretty 50-50 race. CRR air rolling perfectly to win it. So tense right now. CRR wins the kickoff against Jan. This could be the equalizer right now, and it will be. The swings of the 1v1 never cease to amaze. The Falcon rises out of the goal as CRR equalizes. CRR able to drill the ball through Jan there. We'll see if Jan changes up the kickoff strategy the next time around after getting beaten standard versus standard. I think he's going to be glad to see it's a straight spawn with the, the kickoff with the least direct uncontested kickoff goals. We're not going to get one here either. Jan should be able to save this. He's still in a lot of trouble. CRR 100 boost to Jan 20. And he Whoa. fires immediately. Pre-jump save or an immediate reaction. But this guy's reaction time is hard to say. He's trying to get the boost on spawn here, but it's not there. Missed time from Jan. CRR going all the way. That is beautiful. 
Timing the flip reset to perfection. He knew Jan didn't have the booster challenge and he placed his shot perfectly. How does he keep doing this, Sierra? Oh, look at that. That's so good. It is sublime. Off the crossbar as well for good measure. And Sierra and Guild have the lead for the first time in this 1v1. And now the question is slightly different. Can you keep the lead? Can you stay playing the same when you have nothing to chase? Yeah, and with a smart play there, he's lost two kickoffs in a row, so he fakes the next one. He just wants to make sure that he's not in a massively losing position as a direct kickoff goal and a very strong kickoff possession for CRR bagged him two goals in a row. Now Jan in control, but against a boosted up CRR. Direct air dribble will be denied. CRR's not landed on the back wall, though. That means Jan can seal the boost away safely. Ooh. Turn and shoot, and that is the margin for error in 1v1. If CRR lands on the back wall, he will be able to challenge, but he lands on the post. That slowed him down, and Jan, with more momentum, turned around, put the ball past him. CRR made the decision from a long way away, and Jan, he just had his eyes on his opponent the entire time to bop it over him and put it away. Another really close 1v1. We have been blessed with them on this final day. Within one goal, within two goals, always close. Jan might be about to retake the lead, but CRR does get back from that kickoff. Yeah, lovely vision there from Jan. Checking to see where CRR was. To realizing that there was not going to be an easy shot. Takes his time. He's really going for the slow roll here. He knew the boost wasn't there to steal immediately, so he attacks slowly, waiting for it to spawn. That means that even if he doesn't score, it's more pressure, it's more possession, and eventually a goal for Jan. Such composure. Brilliant strategy, perfect execution. That was also a really important boost deal there from Jan. They raced for that corner boost, and it was CRR that lost it, and there were no pads either, so completely stranded. Well, he used his 12 to get up to the ball, couldn't quite make it. And as you say, the finish from Jan, when you have this much pressure on you, it is not simple to do. And Furia retake the lead in this pendulum of a 1v1. Well, Jan's backed off here. CRR knows he has a little bit of time, but not too much, as Jan rushes in for the challenge. Gotta always mix those in to keep your opponent honest. CRR constantly thinking now, is Jan going? As Jan now just sits back, oh. CRR goes right through. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Oh. Jan with the recovery to match the ridiculous play from CRR. So good from Jan to still stay alive. But CRR <laughs> might have done it with the challenge. He will get there. He will equalize. How does this man stay so calm? Many players would have just thought, what is the point after watching a save like that? But CRR focuses on the next play, and he goes right through Jan's challenge. 5-5, five, five, minute and 46 on the clock. The kickoffs have been swinging back and forth. Jan making a correct adaptation. Earlier on, he was consistently losing. Now he's got the better half of it. Another free shot. CRR needed to clear the ball into a safer location. Jan up again. Once again, it's Furia that have the lead. A big challenge from Jan. CRR are committed. Couldn't quite get back to it either. Yeah, and it's an easy finish for him, but nothing's easy at this point. And then we'll go to this next kickoff. We had seen a mix up in the kickoff so far. Will we see another? Will either of these two players blink? No, it's standard, both charging into it. CRR is going to get the boost. Jan's back, though. He's getting back to that 100. Can CRR get there in time? The flick's on, but Jan closed it down perfectly and sends it high. And he has the boost, and he'll probably have another goal. And Guild, they need two. And that is a huge mistake from CRR. Kickoff possession. It looks like Kyle, calm down. I know you get excited. Yeah, there. right. Don't, don't hurt Jan Sandy. He's got to play with that for a couple more minutes. But CRR dribbling straight at the net, unable to generate a flick in time. Another fake kickoff from Jan. That is brilliant. This is going to force more time off the clock. Get him another possession play. And these little switch ups, keeping CRR guessing, make a big difference. He's in a huge position now. He should be scoring. And he, I think he will be. That is a good point. Oh, oh, it doesn't oh. have the landing to match it still, though. All oh, Jan, <laughs> he's got CRR bouncing on the spot. Oh, my and eventually pops it over him. Oh, Jan him. stands. This man, he knows he is the real deal. Jan stands as his hands are winning Fury of 500,000 grand at this rate. It's unbelievable. The confidence that he has. Three goals can be turned around, but the way Jan is playing. Again. You dread to see it, and he's faked it as well, and he's got the boost. The fake oh. kickoff is effective. Everything going Fury his way. CRR has to dive in, but can't do it. Jan knows his team are on the cusp. Can he make it a four goal? Really oh, gets wow. the demo. He's rolling around. He's going to put this one on target. Oh. Is he? No, he's actually missed it. And maybe that gives CRR a chance. Yeah, not just a chance. CRR had a free shot, but he snipes it wide. And he commits as well. CRR must have felt like he deserved a goal there. He is going to be back to keep his hopes alive here, keep, keep Guild's hopes alive. This is 1v1, so one goal 
could send us into a spiraling comeback, but Jan just looks unbeatable at the moment. He's been surprising CRR with fake kickoffs. Every single one of them so convincing. None of them being read by CRR. Final few seconds here. Jan just has to play it safe. He's not overcommitting. He's playing it out brilliantly. It's absolutely done right now. There won't be three goals in this amount of time, no matter what happens here. Oh, Especially oh, oh. when Jan shows his pace. That's the moment they begin to stand up. The confetti is about <laughs> to fall. Jan has stopped. South America's jewel in the crown. The best of their majestic nation of mechanical tricksters and high ping ranked grinders take international gold for the first time in the region. Region's history. Fury Esports on away soil are your Gamers 8 champions. That's iconic. That's going to be an image we see for a long, long time. Not just Jan, but Kyle and Card putting their demons to rest. Everyone who called this team. A team who couldn't get it together, choking in the big moments, performing best online, win the biggest international LAN in Rocket League history. Not just in style. not just Kaya, not just Card, the entire region. I'm sure the club, crew, Team Secret watching on whether they're here or at home, rooting for their boys to make the statement that South America is up there with the very best of the regions. A great story from Guild as well. Their season is over, but they showed much promise. Another team in the mix for Europe, continually deepening the region. But today is the day of Furia. Today is the day of Jan, Card, and Kayo. They'll lift their trophy and receive the applause. Every piece of confetti falling is another pat on the back of Furia. What a battle they have had. Some of the victories absolutely huge. The Furia only reason they're on this stage right now is after a reverse sweep. impossible. Absolutely incredible work. You managed to reverse sweep the home favorites in the semi-finals and now a 4-0 in the grand final. Kairos, coach, how are you feeling? Can you put it into words? I can't really put it into words, no. This is just, this is, this is a result that I knew th that we could get. And I'm just happy we got it. It's awesome. You guys have played incredibly well this entire tournament. Now, I just want to give you the opportunity to say whatever you would like to say to your fans, to the home crowd, to the people in Riyadh for this entire tournament. It's been absolutely incredible. What would you like to say? All of our family, all of their family, all my family have been watching us. They've been supporting us for our whole careers and we love them. That's all we want to say. Well, congratulations once again. You, are, you have earned the lion's share of $2 million, and you are also the Gamers 8 champions of Rocket League. Please, everybody, give it up one more time for Furia. Thank you so much for tuning in to this incredible Rocket League competition throughout the entirety of the week. To my co-host, Fancy, you've been absolutely incredible. Everyone on the Arabic stream, the English stream, all of the casters, the analysts, and of course, everyone in production for creating this absolutely phenomenal show. Honestly, it is absolutely incredible. And I can't really put it into words. And the Rocket League community here in Saudi Arabia truly is unbelievable. So I'd like to hand it over to the analyst desk to end off the show. Alf, alf,